Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here's my updated guide on jailbreaking iOS 6.0 on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation. A lot of people are having trouble installing Cydia after the jailbreak, and this video will address that. Now, this is a semi untethered jailbreak, meaning you can reboot your device normally, but every time you turn it on, Cydia, Safari, and Mail will not work until you go into Red Snow and reboot your device tethered. And to a lot of you guys, this is very new. I'll show you guys everything that I'm talking about later in this video, but for now, know that you will need a computer to reboot your device every time you turn it off or your battery dies. Now as many of you guys know, Cydia is installed after you jailbreak your device and it's basically used for installing third-party software. There's so much cool things you can do with it and jailbreaking is 100% completely legal. Don't worry about what anyone says, it's completely legal and not only that but it's so easy to remove. All you guys have to do is go into iTunes and click restore and your jailbreak will disappear. As easy as that. Now this jailbreak will not actually remove anything from your device, however I do recommend you guys do this on a fresh restore so go into itunes and click restore it does help move this jailbreak along smoothly however if you guys do not want to do that it is not required and let's go ahead and get started now this process will be both mac and windows friendly however if you guys are on a windows computer you will need to download one extra thing and i'll get to that once we do get to the windows part however for now you guys do need to download red snow 0.9.13 dev 4 and your ios 6.0 official firmware file all links can be found down below in the description there will be a link to my website where you can find all of these links and a written guide. With your iDevice plugged in, go ahead and run Red Snow. If you're on Windows, you want to right click and select run as administrator. We're going to go to extras and you want to select your IPSW that you did download. It's on my desktop. Select that. Click OK. Back. And now we're going to select jailbreak. It's going to load our options. In here, we're going to make sure install SSH is selected. We're going to go next and power off our device. Now on Red Snow, you want to hit next and then go ahead and hold the power for 3, 2, 1 together with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And Red Snow will walk you through this process, but it's very easy and basically putting your device into DFU mode. You can let go of the power button when you do see that Red Snow begins jailbreaking your device. You'll get this screen. It's perfectly normal. It means your device is being jailbroken. Now your iDevice will reboot, but you will not see Cydia anywhere. We have to go back into Red Snow, tether boot our device, and then SSH Cydia manually onto our device. Now back in Red Snow, you want to select back and select just boot tethered right now. It is in the extras menu, so you want to select it and then we're going to be powering off our device once again and we're going to be putting our device into dfu mode so in red snow you're going to select next hold the power for three two one together with the home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you see that red snow begins booting up your device and this is the icon you're going to get when you're booting up your device in tethered mode and until you boot up your device in tethered mode if your battery died or if you need to reboot your device Cydia, safari and your mail app or any app that you download from Cydia will not work until you go to your computer and tether boot your device using red snow now after your device reboots it is now in tethered boot mode but you still will not see Cydia. we have to go ahead and install it manually i'm going to show you guys the method first on mac and then on windows both very easy methods. Regardless of whether you're on Mac or Windows, you are going to have to find your IP address for your device. So you're going to want to go into Wi-Fi and then click on the little blue arrow on the network you are connected to and there is your IP address right there. You're going to want to use this for the programs we are going to be using to connect to your device. So on Mac, we are using a program called Terminal. Everybody has it on their Mac computer. You want to make sure your Mac is connected to the same network as your iDevice. And we're going to go ahead and type the following, SSH space root, the at symbol, and then your IP address. For me, it's 192.168.1.130. Go ahead and press enter. Now this could take a couple seconds to connect. It'll ask you for a password and go ahead and put in A-L-P-I-N-E. And now I'm in the root folder. Now down below in the description, I'm going to give you guys this text that you're going to want to copy to your clipboard so command c and go ahead and command v or paste it in and select enter it'll go ahead and begin downloading cydia onto your iDevice after a few seconds your iDevice will respring and you guys will now have cydia on your springboard so you are now done you're jailbroken on ios 6 all mac users have a great day you are now finished remember this is a tether jailbreak so the step i showed you in red snow the tether boot make sure to do that every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot your iphone because cydia safari and the mail app will not work until you do that for 
Windows, we are going to be using a different program called Putty, or I will include links for WinSCP down below in the description. For some people, WinSCP doesn't work, so I am using Putty for this tutorial. Now, on a Windows PC, you have a choice of either using Putty or WinSCP. Either one works. I'm just going to use Putty. Run that. In here, you want to put your IP address that you took from your iPhone. Again, make sure this computer is connected to the same network your iPhone is connected on, and go ahead and select Open. And this command prompt window will pop up. It'll ask you to log in as. You want to type in root, and you're going to hit enter. It'll ask you for a password. You want to put in Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Go ahead and select enter again. And now you do have root access. That code that I provided you with, you want to go ahead and select all of it, copy it to your clipboard, go ahead and paste it into the command prompt, and select enter. It'll begin installing Cydia on your iDevice, and in just a second, your device will respring, and you will have Cydia on your springboard. So there you go, guys. You are now done. You have Cydia on your springboard on your iPhone 4, 3GS, or iPod Touch 4th generation, all on iOS 6. I do hope this video helped, this updated jailbreak guide on iOS 6. Please like and favorite, it does help me tremendously in return, and comment if you guys have any questions or general comments about this video, I'd be happy to see them, and subscribe for many more iOS 6 videos, there will be so much of them, so you want to make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And guys, have a great day, enjoy your iOS 6 jailbreak, peace.